Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about uh, PPDS and the integration between PPDS and the plant and maintenance module. So I have mentioned the prerequisites from both the sites, which is PPDS and the plant and maintenance, and how do we evaluate it? So the, pre the prerequisite, what you require from the PPD PPDS side is, you have to have resources with advanced planning checkmark because we are uh, doing this scenario in S4 HANA version 2021 server. Then we need to also have to maintain the break shift and the shift sequence for the uh, resource, okay, which will be maintained towards the PPDS side. Here I have mentioned the transactions as well. The another important part, uh, because most of you guys, even if you do this particular step, may miss the integration module, okay? Or if the integration module is not active, then you will not see the uh, downtime towards the PPDS side. So the, these two transactions are also very important. CFM1 and CM, CFM3 to activate the integration module. Now, uh, the prerequisites what we have, okay from the pm side is we should have the equipment created so i do have equipment created uh, as a reference for this particular session and then i have uh, to create a maintenance order the transaction codes are also mentioned and how do we evaluate uh, the downtime which will be created towards the ppds side from the plant and maintenance we can see in the planning board transaction is mentioned so let us go in the system and see So I'll show you CR03. Um, so we create the work center because it's already created. I'll just go through it. Okay. So these values we are already aware of. Okay. The check mark which I was talking about is the advanced planning because if you tick mark this uh, based upon the S4 HANA uh, SIF model integration, automatically this particular work center will reflect towards the PPDS side. So we'll go to, so this is a transaction for the resources, okay? So the work center which you have created in CR01 transaction, which will be reflecting here. So it will be reflecting with a uh, different uh, naming convention towards the PPDS side. So uh, to look at the uh, work centers, I have given star PPDS star, okay? The location is 1710 and the uh, planning version is all zeros. Now click on uh, display resources. So here you can see the resource which we have seen towards uh, CR01 or towards the S4 HANA site is PPDS WC1. However, in the APO side, it will be reflected as prefix of W. Okay. Now, if I go and select this particular resource and say downtimes, okay, I don't see any downtime here. So there are two options. If you have plant and maintenance module implemented, uh, you can create the equipment, you can create the uh, maintenance order. And then if you give the reference of this particular resource over there and say there is a downtime, uh, either for the maintenance or for the inspection, you can see the downtime over here. So that's what we are trying to do. Now we have seen these two options. So let me show you how the break, shift, and shift sequence are maintained. Once you select this, go to the definition part. Here you have different options. So I have maintained break one, break two, and break three. Okay. Uh, it starts from 7:30 to 7:40, the first break in the first shift, uh, then 10 to 10:30, and so on. Here you can see it goes up to B3. So this is the break pattern. So this breaks, once you define, it will go in the shifts, okay? Here you can see the shifts uh, we have as shift one, shift two, and shift three. It starts from six in the morning till uh, two o'clock, from two o'clock till it goes uh, 22 hours, and from 22 hours again, morning, 6 a.m., okay? And here, once you have this break patterns, you need to assign them in your shifts. And then the shift sequence, uh, the shifts will go in the shift sequence. So here you can see day number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that belongs to number of days in a week. 
okay so we have uh, seven days so i have given all seven days the most important part when you are maintaining the shift sequence is non work days here you have options okay can start uh, on a non work day can can finish on a non work day so the the option which we need to choose here is can start or finish on a non work day the reason behind uh, on this selection would be what if you want to start some uh, the job on uh, saturday night okay or monday early morning all right then you have to make sure that even if it's a non work day you can start so what if you want to start your night shift okay on the sunday so sunday is non work day if you if you are taking according to your planning in this uh, factory calendar so if you want to schedule something in the night shift on sunday which is a non work day if you don't select this option uh, it will the ppds will not consider it okay so that's why it is important to select this particular option and you can assign your shifts accordingly shift 1 shift 2 and shift 3 okay so once you have defined all this you can go back because i have already defined okay so once we have uh, discussed about the shift break patterns and uh, shift sequence there is an integration module okay so before you create the maintenance order make sure your integration model is activated okay so here you can give a model name of your own choice logical system should be defined and then again you can copy this and paste though i have the uh, the same model names so i have given underscore 2 so once you press enter depending upon the version you are working on okay the things will be highlighted or grayed out so what we want to see is you have to make sure that your maintenance order has been checked click on this arrow and you can uh, segregate based upon the order type that you want to create as a maintenance orders or you can directly give your plant okay so give your plant and say activate so once uh, sorry uh, execute activate will be in cfm3 transaction so once you have done this you can go in the cfm3 transaction uh, as i have already completed this step i am not going to execute okay you have to give the details all right and then you have to say execute So once you execute, you will see this, uh, and your status should be both active. Okay. If you don't see that, you have to select this line and say start. And then, uh, if everything is fine, maintained properly in your system, it should be activated just like this. So once you have met the prerequisites from the PP uh, DS side, okay, we'll go to the plant and maintenance side. So I'll show you the equipment that we have created. so you can create through ie01 go to the location tab and here you need to give the reference of the work center which you have created in cr01 transaction in the organization also you have to put it under the responsibilities okay and the main work center and give your uh, plant or rather it would be a location which is maintained towards the ppds side okay and then under the structure or something here you do not have to meet anything the description i have given because this is an internal number range equipment number will be created and the category would be machines so we'll create the maintenance order okay and we can copy through the previous one which i have used uh, for the testing the order type would be pm01 Press enter. Planning plant seventeen ten. Okay. Here we need to give the work center reference. Okay. 
so I can copy from here and give it here all right the main important point for your integration is in this particular step which is system condition okay here you have to make sure that you are choosing not in the operation so if it is in the operation that means you do not have to stop the work and then you have to complete the maintenance part but if you say not in the operation that means you have to completely stop the work for that particular time and then it will reflect in your ppds side if you choose one or if you leave it blank this particular order does not go so i have seen this issue many of us are asking that why my maintenance order does not reflect in ppds this would be one of your reasons or your integration model okay so here you can choose the date, uh, say suppose it starts on 5th and then finish it on 5th, uh, 4th it starts and 5th it ends and then you need to give the duration. So it is lasting for uh, 10 hours or 20 hours that you can maintain and you can go to the operations. and make sure your ppds uh, you have to maintain the repair okay or you can put an inspection the main important point is uh, system condition that it should be not in operations and make sure the equipment that you have created in the previous step using ie01 has to be assigned here and then we will save it so once this is saved our expectation would be it should show me in this i was in the change mode uh, let us see if it is still reflecting or not yes so if you see uh, the work center or the resource which is towards the PP ppds side is showing me that there is a downtime coming from the pm order okay and if i want to evaluate this uh, downtime in the planning board we can go to the transaction called cdps0 Okay. So once you are in the detailed scheduling planning board, okay, you can choose the uh, standard overall profiles and make sure you are giving the uh, resource what you have maintained in the uh, maintenance order location and then you can execute. Okay, so once this is executed, here is your resource, all right, and if I move towards my left hand side, you can see there is a downtime which is shown as a gray color here, okay. So you can um, see this uh, downtime that it starts from the 4th okay of december and it goes till 5th of december and this is for 20 hours what we have maintained okay suppose now you are creating any uh, production order over here so this downtime will be uh, considered in that particular planned order or the production order by the ppds heuristics okay so this is what i wanted to show you today uh, thanks for watching and if you like do like uh, if you like the content do subscribe and share and give me a thumbs up thanks